All right, so we're gonna work on this generator. It's a three phase, three kilowatt generator. And the thing's had me stumped for a little while cause I just, not an electrician, but I'm learning, right? And so I'm gonna run the three phases onto outlets and connect them all with the same neutral wire. So anyway, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing and hopefully you can uh, learn from where I was stumped because I've had this thing for a while and it comes with one little outlet, but I can get so much more power if I use all the phases. And so that's what I wanted this generator for. Okay, stay tuned. All right, so this is what I'm working with. I'm gonna do one phase on one outlet, another phase on another outlet, and then I'm gonna do these two on another phase. And that was mainly because they sell these boxes and they just didn't have outdoor boxes with three in it. So I just made a little adjustment. This is 10 gauge wire. So that gives you an idea. Let's put this thing together. All right, so here's a quick update. Each phase will be black, green, or red. My neutral, I'm gonna use a white. Um, so this will be my L0. And then uh, I'll have to label these, one for L1, L2, L3. And those will correspond with, let's see here. You see those guys up there? So yeah, L3, L2, and way up there, I get you in there, L0. So that'll be my neutral. Held that open. We got bolts to hardwire them in. These have nice fat slots in them for this thicker 10 gauge wire. These are like, these are 20 amp, 125 volt for breakers, so they should be able to handle power tools. So, each hot, or each phase, is going to tap in to these outlets. So I've got, I think, black here, and green here, and then red, I have linked to both of those, and then the neutral, is connected to one, two, three, four. It ties them all in. It's kind of like a ground. Um, so that's how I have it wired. And so now, I just need to uh, splice the ends here so I can tie them into there. Tie them into those. And then I'll have lots of power for this bad boy to power to 
power anything. So let's do that. There we go, just screwed those in. So L0 is gonna be my my common, and then I can just tighten those nuts up a little bit, and that'll relate to my, my outlets. Pretty excited. All right, so that is the three kilowatt generator and wire it up to a three phase to get 110. You can wire it different ways, but 110 is what I need. But see, yeah, if you run two phases, you get like for some of the basic things you want to try to get 220 on. Let's see here. Um, yes, yeah, so if you do. You do 120 times 1.73. Let's see here, calculator. 120 times 1.73 equals 207, 208. So two phases will get you 208. Not quite 220, but I think the 240, you're gonna need all three phases to do that. 120, three phase, 240. Anyway, I'm not a genius with this stuff. 532 pounds, dang. Yeah, this thing's heavy. I thought it was like two to 300 pounds, but it's 500 pounds. So this thing's a little beast. Yeah. 3,000 watt. Um, and I don't know if that's per phase or all together. I'm still learning, so. But anyway, uh, it should run all your basics. So it's an art, a military generator, so they don't really BS their numbers like you see in the civilian stuff. They're like, oh, my line more is five horsepower. Mine's 5.5, mine's 5.6, mine's 6.5, and it's the same engine. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't BS their stuff, uh, the, the stuff the military gets. And so if it's 3,000, Woo. It could probably do pretty close to what some other generators can do. But I don't know if that's uh, per phase or not. I mean, for 500 pounds, you think that's probably per phase, 3,000 watts. Or maybe it's total, I don't know. But I just need to run some power tools, run the refrigerators. Um, you know, help my neighbors out if there's a problem in the world. So... That's all it is, just emergency backup generator. So, all right, just wanted to share that with you because it was something I was kind of stumped on for a while. Okay. Bye. What's up?